Well, Andre, no banks in the Baltimore area are affected so far, and Anurban Basu says it's a good sign that a lot of the major national banks like Bank of America still appear to be doing well and are even assisting a third bank that's in trouble. I can reassure the members of the committee that our banking system is sound. That's the message from the U.S. Treasury after the failure of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank earlier this month and a close call for First Republic Bank. Well, these are some of the largest bank failures in the history of America. And so all of a sudden uh, we're talking about a much weaker banking system, tighter credit conditions and, of course, greater likelihood of recession at some point in the next 12 months. Economist Anirban Basu says he does not expect a repeat of the collapse in 2008-2009. Fewer banks are impacted, and in that case, there were concerns about the financial strength of large national banks. But things are different now. The notion is they have very strong balance sheets, and indeed, because some people who've been banking with smaller banks are nervous about their smaller banks, they've actually been moving deposits into these larger banks. So if anything, these larger banks are actually getting stronger financially. And that's important. His advice, if you're nervous, is to ask your bank questions about their liquidity and balance sheets and cut back on spending. The economy is becoming less certain. I think you all will start to see rising unemployment during the months ahead, not necessarily immediately, but we have seen more layoff announcements recently. Basu says the bottom line is no one can be sure what will happen, but there's no need for people to panic. I don't think there's any evidence to uh, suggest that it is another 08, 09 type of episode. That said, it is conceivable that we will see some more bank failures going forward. The economy has changed. Interest rates are higher. Recession has become more likely in the near term. The Federal Reserve is meeting next week to set new interest rates. Basu says whatever they decide will directly affect the banking industry. Reporting live in North Baltimore, Kim Day, CWBAL TV 11 News.